This is me. And I'm about to go from completely broke to being one of the richest players on this SMP in a matter of minutes, using just Glowberries. But why are we doing this? Well, this is one of the richest bases on the Donut SMP. And due to some drama I don't fully understand, its owner is holding a competition to see who will earn the cords to this base. But more importantly, the secret to how he got so rich. But to win this contest, my teammate and I have till the end of the month to become the richest players on the King SMP. But there's one issue. We didn't find out about this until there was only a week left and everyone else on the server had been grinding all month and had hundreds of millions of in-game dollars. So joining this event, I knew I'd have to outsmart them. Also, quick interruption to say subscribe and join my Discord. Link in the description. I started out by gathering the essentials and mining for some better gear, and although I didn't realize it at the time, it wasn't long before I came across what would become my secret weapon, but we'll get back to that. After I got back to the surface, I wasted no time in looking for a place to build a base. And by waste no time, I of course mean have a panic attack fighting a shark and in sheer panic did straight down to what became my permanent base. But by the time my teammate Brick got home from school, I had a very important realization. Plants sold for a lot on this server. Even the ones you can bone meal. But of course, silly little Tanuki made a massive planning error and absolutely wasted two full days of time thinking that a makeshift manual bone meal farm for some bamboo would cut it. At that point we realized that it was faster to just go to a jungle and chop bamboo manually. But then, lying awake at 3 in the morning, my insomniatic sleep deprived brain had a genius idea. What if we had a faster bone meal farm? You see, on this server, you can buy spawners and use them to make custom farms, and as quickly as I could, I got to work. And let me just say that this was hands down the worst building experience of my entire life. I apparently picked the day that this pyramid event started, so everyone on the server was flying around generating chunks and grinding the server to a halt. Which, you know, was fine for most of them just up there on the surface, but for me down there trying to mine, it was very annoying. And to add insult to injury, the server's anti-x-ray plugin kept tricking me into thinking I found diamonds because of the lag. But eventually, after a lot of raging, I managed to mine out the room for a simple spawner farm. After that, all that was left was some basic math and testing, and I was able to verify that glowberries were by far the most OP item on this entire server. But of course, it wouldn't be that easy. We still had a massive gap between us and the leading players, and to make matters worse, Brick didn't even believe in my method, so for a while I was on my own. And if I wanted to win this challenge, I would have to spend every single waking moment bone kneeling this glowberry. And was I really willing to do that? <laughs> yeah, boy. And this time wasn't without innovation. The first day was mostly me grinding glowberries just to sell them in exchange for more spawners to increase the rates of the farm. And thankfully, upon asking a moderator, I was told that autoclickers were allowed in this context. So that made everything a hundred times faster. And when I was able to go from zero to a million after a very short while of using the farm, Brick had no choice but to acknowledge that I might have just solved it. So we grinded, and autoclicked, and crafted and sold and AFK'd for the next few days slowly improving little things, expanding the storage, filling shulkers and shulkers with glowberries, and climbing the leaderboard faster than anyone else on the server had. But just as it was starting to look truly attainable, our worst nightmare happened. One of our competitors, Laztec, who had apparently been grinding a massive sugarcane farm all month, sold his built-up stash and passed a billion dollars. But we were far too stubborn to give up. I immediately called up my sister Increpulous and optimized the farm as best I could with our resources and we kept grinding. But it felt like things just kept going wrong past this point. For some reason the server literally moved continents overnight. So that day we couldn't afk the farm. Then my redstone broke for no reason and started burning everything without me realizing it. Day after day it just felt like we had the worst luck ever. And near the end, when it really really mattered, for some reason, when I was AFKing the farm, I spontaneously caught on fire and died. That's literally not a joke. It happened multiple times that day, and I would catch on fire and burn to death whenever I tried to AFK, causing me to lose all my stuff and preventing the farm from working. It was starting to look like it wasn't possible. With only a couple days left and not even half our goal, I did what felt most natural. I tested the rates, ran the numbers, and just like that, 
the challenge was over. Even if things went perfectly, if the farm never ran out of bones and we had three people online every single minute with no time losses, it was still exactly one hour off from being possible. But that's not how this story ends. Okay, but Brick. Yes? We might not have won this little game, but there is something we know now that we didn't before. What a is little that? nugget of information that we've gained by participating. What? Previously, the way we thought you had to get rich on the Donut SMP was spending hours and hours and hours grinding your spawners and buying cheap spawners off the auction. But now, we know that that's not right. That there's a better way. And I'm gonna find that way. Thank you all so much for watching this video and making it this far. Even though I wasn't able to accomplish my goal, I still think it's really awesome how far we were able to get considering how little time we had. And if you're watching this video a while after it's come out, you can find the sequel or whatever ends up happening right here. Click it. This video actually ended up taking a really long time, like 70 hours on the actual server, plus another 20 hours of editing pretty much. So I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and maybe leave a comment giving me a suggestion or just telling me how annoying my voice is. I don't know, any comment helps. So algorithm stuff, yay. I 100% plan on making a lot more content like this, especially since this is also my life suit application, and hopefully I can reach my crazy goal of 50k subscribers by end of summer 2024 so I don't have to go to college. Well, subscribe if you hate school. Anywho, Tanuki out. Bye! We have no reason to know. I just got kicked. Are you kidding me? <laughs>